Did you get the top and bottom right on the oil rings? <laughs> <laughs> So okay. here we're just uh, putting on the rings. You know, always start and get your separation. I'm going to get that. Well, you can see right there. See those have kind of a ledge and this one has kind of a dovetail. That's the separator. You want to line that one up with the skirt on the piston. And then line up your first oil ring with the pin right here. And then your second oil ring. You want to line that up with the other pin so that they're 180 degree difference. Just drop that right in there and walk it around. Okay, now if you've installed them correctly, you should be able to move the whole assembly nice and easily. Kind of push that together. Yep. See how it comes around, that means nothing is stuck. Cool. Alright, so I'm just about to put in these uh, these piston rings here. So we're looking at the chart. Um, let's see. So we need the dot, the dots on top, and then kind of hard to see with the camera here, but this one has a slight chamfer down towards the bottom, so this is the second ring right there. And this one has a more conventional wider cut chamfer there, and that is the top ring right there. Okay, which one are you putting in first? So first I'm putting in the, the second ring here, or the middle one. Okay, so the one above the oil ring. Yep, and we're gonna clock these uh, when we put them in the ring compressor to put them in the block. Okay, so if you clock them, they should be opposite of each other. Uh, check your manual. They vary okay. based on engine. All right, and those are all seated. Okay, and we're just about to install the last piston here. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn the engine over until that journal is pointing upwards. Okay, and then I got the rings clocked here for the specification in the book. This gap lines up here. The other one's right about there. I'm gonna go ahead and expand my ring compressor here. And then always try to keep your surfaces clean. Up. All right, now it's starting to grab. I'll just make sure that it's still staying even. Okay, a lot of steps. I'm just cleaning the dust off the bearings here. All right, and then we're gonna line up that little tang there into the indent and push those down so the surfaces up here and here are flush. And then we'll brush on some oil onto the bearing. That's plenty. Now we can put this in. After we put on rubber hoses on here. 
and that keeps it from scratching the journals. We'll go ahead and drop this down carefully. All right, make sure it's clocked right. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and then tap lightly here. Now I'm gonna double check underneath here, make sure it's not hitting anything. Oops, just barely. All right. All right, and there is our piston in. Okay, so here is the spot you have to be wary about it contacting. So up here, that is the beginning of the crank weight. And then right here, Sometimes it'll slide on the wrist pin and the rod will touch that. So you gotta kind of keep an eye on that and move it over uh, while you're pushing it down sometimes. But right now I'm just gonna go ahead and pull these hoses off. All right, and then we can go ahead and assemble that bearing cap and put that on. All right, so I'm just cleaning up the bearing cap here. Get all that grease off so the bearing doesn't slide. And then I'm just gonna get the dust and dirt from the new bearing off. And same thing as before, we're just gonna line up the tang with the groove there. And then make sure it's flush. We'll brush on some oil. And we'll take these nuts and wrench. And then we're gonna go over here and line it up. Okay, so we need to make sure that make sure that, that tang lines up with the same tang on the top up there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and look at it with a flashlight here. So you can see it right there, that tang is present. So towards me is where we're gonna have to rotate this bearing. So it's just gonna go in, there we go. And then it should just wiggle on there and then go up. And the last little bit, if you need to, you can tap very, very lightly here in the center. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and snug up those nuts on the bottom, and then when we come back, we'll go ahead and torque them all down. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and torque up these rod caps. Uh, we're gonna go in increments of 10 foot-pounds until we get to our torque setting. All right. There we go. I'll just do the ones I can see right now. All right, and then I'll go back and do all the ones I didn't catch and then keep going up in 10 foot pound settings. All right guys, thanks for watching. Um, make sure to subscribe and to hit the notification bell and I'll see you guys next time.